Hi. Here you get the Monte Carlo simulation of a stock price uh, using Brownian motion. You have to enter your information. You have to enter your stock price at time zero. You have to enter the risk-free rate as decimals, as you can see here. You have to enter the given volatility, or often um, it uses sigma. And as you can see, I added a control calculation of the volatility just to, I don't know, I just like to control that uh, the motion shows a sigma uh, approximately the way we've given it. And you have to enter how many periods you have, um, or the, the delta uh, in the periods of a year. So here you have uh, 12 periods of, the, of a year, and then the delta uh, you calculate here. And the number of uh, periods that you wish to consider in your Monte Carlo simulation. And then also uh, the number of paths, uh, which is normally a minimum of a thousand in order to get a, a, a simulation that is satisfactory. Uh, here, as you can see, I have chosen to look at the simulation after 12 periods, after a year. And therefore, I have uh, used this row in the expected value. You will obviously have to change this formula if you look at like 24 periods or whatever. Um, and then you get also in the confidence uh, interval an idea of the interval uh, in which the stock price would eventually end up after the number of periods that you have done your Brownian motion for. Um, so I hope you can use this sheet in your studies. Um, I made it in during my studies and I just want to share it with you guys also perhaps struggling with the Monte Carlo simulation. I hope this will be useful. You can also see uh, the simulation for the first 10 paths um, shown here. Obviously, it would be <laughs> way too uh, completely impossible to uh, show it for a thousand paths, but uh, it just gives a visual idea of how the simulation works. So I hope you can use it, and I'll be grateful for your feedback. Thank you.